decimated the Chinese or something happened or they just they were just stupid seriously here 11 divisions here five four six I mean, come on here and how much of it is pure Japanese let's see here yeah that's only that's a considerable amount right there let's see what back here So about eh, a few, like four or five of them, and so on here. So it looks like about a couple of divisions there. I mean, they just came under, way under prepared for that. And I'm sure Joseph E. Stalin would be just highly disappointed in this Japan right here. I'm sure he'd just be ticked off and he's just screaming on top of his lungs because I remember him being a Japanese player for one of his. I'm sure he's just gonna be ticked. I could have done better. That game was so true. Anyway, <laughs> oh, I gotta stop doing that. Okay, um, you know, I can't have the Royal Army of 1939, so they kind of upgraded a little bit there. All right. Looks like communist forces are hitting uh, the Japanese, at least by event, anyway. Kind of hurting. Right, so we got some spent. You can see the uh, national Spain here, which will not be called Spain because it's a unified Spain. So. Got our panther divisions ready, at least one of them, one of many. And you can see they also have a claim in Gibraltar. I think Republic of Spain also did. And I remember when the f game first came out, the very first time. Parts of Iron 2 first came out, the Republic of Spain didn't really have it. And then, but uh, they gave it to National Spain, but they didn't really transfer, transfer back to Republic of Spain as well. But, because you know, Spain does. Still, I think they're still, they're still climbing on uh, um, Gibraltar right now. And if I recall, there's a blockade that Spain did on. Not a blockade, but they blocked off access to uh, Gibraltar, if I remember correctly. So, that was kind of an interesting thing. I think, I think they still block off uh, Gibraltar from uh, on the Spanish border with them, so... Yeah. So, severe repression of a strike of the factory of uh, at Rüsselhelm. A uh, strike is severe, uh, severely repressed. The working class makes the, ex the expenses of the uh, policy of the system. Uh, it's the expenses of the policy system. Yeah, that's what it says. Uh, the Ministry of the Economic, uh, uh, the Ministry of the Economy decides strict measurements to fight against them and release of social. Something's gonna happen, but I'm sure something's gonna happen. Alright, actually, you know what? What I'm gonna do is uh, once the. Uh, what is next month? July? Okay, so, ne so next month. I'll definitely cut off the uh, uh, production of uh, tanks and probably just switch back to infantry. Um. Because I am going to need as much infantry as I can, and with the way my army is set up, and with the way the industrial capacity is going for me. Um, let's see. I probably could actually build more if I wanted to, right? Yeah, just about one more worth of uh, parallel. For like, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do, is uh, just go infantry. And then have like uh, pretty much use the armor as a spearhead. Pretty much like have the infantry attack, and then just have the armor push right through once the enemy's weak or whatever you know. I'll come up with something creative for them. Usually do and most in some of my games. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing this. Uh, Oh wow, what the hell? Uh, okay. 
this is this is the unpredictability of uh, Hearts of Iron, folks. Let's see what happened. All right, so uh, okay, okay so this goes back quite a bit. Okay. Uh, all right, so in 1938 of July 5th. Turkey had to take over by force in Haiti. Um, or Hadi. Uh, yeah, it's not <laughs> And Syria went with, uh, went with the uh, letters consult the Fran with the French and a takeover by force. Uh, France had to take over by force, so I'm sure uh, they weren't too happy with that. Uh, France would let us send an absolute ultimatum and raise the place. Okay, so Turkey had a uh, 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 head them. I know this is gonna be bad for my grammar right now. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> yeah, so Halid, Halid, and then uh, Turkey just declared war in France. Okay, so uh, interesting. So he here we go, folks. Um, the unpredictability of Hearts of Iron 2. <laughs> so we can see, now we can pretty much see... <laughs> Here's a... Uh, uh, pretty much British controlled Iraq, and Fr French controlled Syria. And then France tries to steal blueprints from the Soviet Union for some ungodful reason. And then pretty much got the... So the, the entire ally, including Egypt, Yes, e even Egypt. The, every ally, uh, the, the whole allied uh, forces, pretty much. So let's see here. All these folks here, <laughs> every one of them, including India, uh, everybody, pretty much, has uh, just gone to war with Turkey. So this should be interesting. All right, so we can now we got so we got now uh, two wars once again, and now uh, just one. And you can see um, Turkey's making some progress to uh, to Syria. Um, might take some time for uh, for uh, Germany, not for Germany, but for France to get there. I don't have any guaranteed uh, independence on. Oh, actually, I do. Oh wow. Um, but it was since we are guaranteeing the independence of uh, of uh, let's see of Turkey, and Turkey did declare war. I'm not obligated to help Turkey because of that. Just so you guys just. That is all straight now. That's what the independence of the guaranteed independence of a country is. If a country declares war, and they're on the same continent as you, um, but you, and, but they declare war on someone else, you can't help them. They they pretty much seal their own fate with that. Um, if a country on this, if a country declares war with a um, other country that you're declaring your independence with, then you can declare war. Then you can like enforce your independent, uh, guaranteed independence on, on of the term of the country. So let's see. Yeah, and what also what it does it actually shifts your um. And with that, if say France, okay, let's go back to that example because I I don't I know I didn't explain that right. I don't care about that since I only lost one. All right. Say f uh, France declared war on Turkey, which it didn't happen. I'm just saying. Um, I gain a, I will gain a, I think a two, uh, two shifts to the, to it more to interventions, and then have pretty much like a Casabelle on France technically to declare war on it because they declared war on the, the, on the country I declare their independence for. So that's pretty much the gist of it. And it has to be on the same continent. It can't be like, um, I can't guarantee the independence of Argentina. 
and then health, and then if the United States closed war on Argentina, I can't enforce it because they're not on the same continent. So that's pretty much the gist of the whole thing with the guarantee of independence. I know I did not explain that before, but I'm explaining it now. Um, and that's pretty much the whole gist of that, and that's pretty much what it, what it means and does. And I'm, there's lots of things on that. Alright, so you've seen here, Turkey is doing some decent damage to the, uh, um, to Syria and Iraq, folks. Um, it's like almost a reincarnation of the Ottoman Empire soon to happen. I mean, considering it is the Allies against Turkey, they can potentially annex Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, and Iraq. So that's four countries they could bring back into the Ottoman Empire, right there alone. Um, and then expand f even further into like, take back Yemen and Oman. And since I do believe uh, parts of them were under Ottoman rule, if I remember correctly. Commemoration of Died of Bismarck. Uh, Germany commemorates in a large pomp uh, the 40th birthday of, uh, of Otto von Bismarck, the founder of the unified German Empire. The Kaiser witnesses a ceremony in the Cathedral of Kongsberg, uh, cradle uh, of the dynasty, the League of Pagramist. I know I said that wrong. <laughs> which, mean, which means echoes increasingly important to all the players of the company and requires of the Weihung III to complete work of the Bismarck by bringing together all German and large Germany, with I'm sure they're talking about mainland Germany and not uh, uh, East Prussia, of uh, Kohlensberg, 